Today we're heading to Spearfish Canyon Scenic Byway. We couldn't have asked for a better day to ride. The weather was in the low 70s and it wasn't very windy. As we stopped for gas, as Kevin says, I almost wrecked the bike at, so I can take this photo or this video of this ram running across the street and then noticed he had friends. And then these friends had more friends. We noticed there were even more and they were all up and down the canyon just out in the open. I don't know if someone threw feet out there or what it was, but they were just all over the place. So after that eventful stop, we ended up back on our bikes, heading down the highway towards Spearfish Canyon. As you can see, there's lots of windy, twisty roads. Not very many motorcyclists on the road since it's getting towards the end of Sturgis Rally Week. I'm gonna give you a little information about Spearfish Canyon Nature Area. First of all, it is free, there's no admission and Spearfish Canyon is a nature area that includes Rough Lock Falls, Spearfish Falls, and Savoy Pond area. The canyon is considered one of the most beautiful locations in the Black Hills. And when I read some information about this on the internet, it is open year round. Winter access is from, looks like, oh, it's closed from December 15th through March 31st during what they would consider snowmobile season. The trails from Spearfish Canyon Lodge to Rough Lock Falls is open all year round, but they say use this at your own risk. Those three areas that I talked about earlier, Rough Lock Falls, Spearfish Falls, and Savoy Pond area. It's a trail system that connects all three areas and offers spectacular views of the waterfalls, especially the foliage in the fall. I would like to come back in the fall just to see the colors. Although we didn't visit the Devil's Bathtub, it's a naturally smooth swimming hole. After the first creek crossing, you have the option of going right or left. The Forest Service has the signs pointing both ways to the Devil's Bathtub, but the mileage is not marked. To the right is seven mile round trip, but with no creek crossing. To the left, it's much shorter, but it's heavily traveled trail with 13 creek crossings. They say weekdays are the best time to visit Devil's Bathtub due to its popularity. We rode a little further up and noticed this stake mining company. This building was built in 1917 and it's fenced off so you can't go in there but you can still see it and take photos of it from the road we were getting kind of hungry so we stopped at the latch string inn restaurant it, they said it was going to be a little bit of a wait because they were short staffed but we actually didn't wait very long for our food.
I'm just looking for special. She'll be over for you in just a second, okay? All right. They do have outdoor seating, but we opted to stay indoors to eat. Once we sat down to eat and took a look at the menu, we knew exactly what we wanted for lunch. Can you guess what I had? It wasn't the bison stew, so don't freak out. This is what we had. It's not easy putting together these videos and voiceovers, but we do appreciate you following our journey. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification button.